Hi Libras, how are you? It's Leonor. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. Thank you for stopping by. For those who have viewed me for the first time, I do integrate astrology as well as tarot card reads and spiritual messages. Libra, this is your general reading. Um, so I'm going to be working on your general reading. In these general reads, I always like to incorporate my um, past life oracle cards. And I'm going to use my dark mirror oracle cards as well to pick up any blockages. Um, just so you know, all 24 love readings, all 24 videos for my love readings are out. So basically I have two videos for each zodiac sign when it comes to love. So I, I have two segments for my Q&A love readings. Um, you know, one of them is for my couples or people wanting to know about their exes. I don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I always invite my cross watchers, you know. Um, and then I have one for my singles or those who are newly crushing on someone, whatever. If the title catches your eye, then it's meant for you. Um, also, I do have a Patreon page. Riley and I created this Patreon page. Um, you know, so besides, you know, extended videos, we do offer services there. So please take time. It doesn't cost nothing to uh, hit, the, hit the link, which is in the description box, and check out the tiers and um, what's there for you. I, I have private readings on the second tier for like almost half the price of what I really offer. Um, and on top of that, you get extended videos in a session um, with Riley or I, you know, if you want to talk about astrology or spiritual guidance, um, relationship advice, self-help, you know, all that is in the, um, I do have little information on the tiers. If you don't want to go onto the Patreon page, there is a little bit of information on each tier that you could look at in my description box, okay? All right, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and subscribe to my second channel. All those links are in the description box. Let's get started. Libras, I'm going to be using my uh, Game of Thrones today. I'm going to clarify it with my African-American tarot. Um, and like I said, I'm going to be using my past life oracle cards and my dark mirror tarot. Let's see what's going on with you in the first spread. Um, Libras, Nine of Swords. The full card and the eight of wands, all in the reverse. Interesting. So very strong Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, and um, Aries, what is this? Could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, if that means anything to you. I, I do sense some type of confusion here. Like, I'm confused. That's all I'm hearing. <laughs> Who are you dealing with, Libras? Um, this could be you telling yourself this, you know? Like, I'm confused. I just don't know what's going on. What's happening here? Why am I in a dungeon? Why am I in the cave? Or why are there spears, you know, going down this, you know... um targeting this village um, with a black crow following it. I, you know, like, whatever, I'm just making fun. But nevertheless, like, there is huge confusion either with you or with someone you know. Um, this someone here needs to be, like, they, they need answers. They, um... All right, let's clarify because I keep, I just keep getting I just keep getting confusion. Someone here is confused. All right, so I have the um, the moon, the temperance, and the seven of pentacles. All right, the moon came out in the reverse, so you could be dealing with a Cancer, um, could be Pisces, um, Sagittarius with the Hermit card, um, and then I have um, seven of pentacles here. My moon card came out in the reverse, however. All right. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, somebody's not in the right head. Somebody's not in. Somebody is not in their right frame of mind. Um, and I hate to say it like that. And um, and I'll figure out why. I I, I sense like there's a, a a conflict here. Um, of energies, a conflict of energies with the moon card and the temperance card here. Um, like someone 
is always in your heads while the other person is more about the here and now um, like someone here likes to meditate like meditation is their way of healing while the other person their way of healing is not it's either by um, taking you know Western medicine do you know what I mean? Like medicating themselves. Nothing, nothing's wrong with that. There's not, not judging anything. But it's just like a conflict of energies, a conflict of healing. Like there's a conflict. There's, there's, there's somebody here is like, the way I heal myself is by meditating or by going by the river or taking long walks. While the other person's like, well, the way I heal myself is by being delusional. <laughs> God. Um... <sighs> All right, how can I how can I be nicer, spirit guides? Can you tell me how to be nicer with my words? Um Yeah, but this is the thing, like somebody here is codependent. That's a, that's 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 why I'm saying it like that. Now it makes sense. Like someone here is depending on someone else's energy. The other person is like, "No, my, you know, I I could I could I'm okay with, you know, with the energy within myself. While the other person needs the energy of someone else. Okay, that's why I said delusional. And I, I don't want to judge and be hard. Like that's, I know that sounds so harsh. Um, and I apologize if I offend anyone. Um, but codependency can be an illusion. To understand because you have this idea of like, you know, this other person can save you when the only person that can save you is you. Then I have my seven of pentacles. Um, I don't know. I feel like, you know, I, don't know, I feel like some of you may work with this person with the pentacle card here, um, or you do business with this person. Or you met at a job. Somebody here is tired, tired, yeah. But the Seven of Pentacles, um, I just sense someone here being like tired of the other person. Um, and I don't know where you are, where, where, what energy are you, Libra? Because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of confused. I don't know if this is you, you know, or the person you're dealing with. I just sense, however, the more spiritual person is ahead of the game. Um, interesting because when I see the skeleton <laughs> racing right by the spiritual person, and I say spiritual because you know the temperance cards, temperance card was here, so you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be, but you could have a Sagittarius in your chart. But um, like this person knows how to deal with the spirits. Um. They know how to tap into um, frequencies and dimensions. And the other person does not. There's nothing spiritual about the other person. Um, and even if they are spiritual, it's just that they're, uh, they're at a very low frequency. They're not as a high frequency as you, Libra. Okay, so that's a conflict of energy. All right, big time. Hi, Dios. All right, let's go to the second spread. All right, so I have Judgment, King of Swords in the reverse in the world. There's a lot of majors here for you guys. I got one, two, three, four, five majors. Interesting. Um, all right, so I got Scorpio, Fire, Energy as well, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Aquarius, again, if that means anything to you, or Earth Sign. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Interesting because um, I don't know if you ever watched the Game of Thrones. Um, Game of Thrones, um, the Night Walker, the King of the Night Walker, Walkers is here. In both these cards, back to back, the Judgment and the King of Swords. My King of Swords, though, was in the reverse. So that's, this is, this is interesting.
I don't know. I don't like this energy. Someone's not telling you something. Like they're hiding something from you. Um, it's the way they manifest. Somebody has an amazing manifester. Somebody here is um, very in tune, again, with the spirit realm and frequencies and energies, vibrations, whatever. Um, someone here could travel um, without physically traveling. And these are spiritual gifts, you know, these are supernatural abilities. Um... It's just that as they're hiding, like, I don't like that the King of Swords was in the reverse, though. Um, when I put all these cards together. You know? Um, let's clarify. I can't get anything else from it. All right, I have four cards here. All right, look at this, another um, major. All right, so. I have uh, the strength card. These are all reversal. The strength card, a seven of cups, the four of cups, and the three of cups, very strong, Leo. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, if that means anything to you. Um, there's something very childlike about someone here. Um, maybe at times immature. Um, but it's still very childlike. Maybe sometimes even cute. I don't know. You take that as it resonates, Libra. I don't. I don't know if you find immaturity cute. So listen, if you really love someone, you may find it cute. Um, <laughs> um there's there's um. So if you're in a relationship, Libras, there's someone around you that doesn't like your the people that you um, associate yourself with, with the Three of Cups. Um, hmm. Yeah, this, the, my crowd here, you're in a relationship with someone. And um, and it, it doesn't have to be a love relationship. It could be a friend, um, you know, someone that you're definitely are very close to. It could be a family member, a loved one. Um, but you're, my, my crowd here is in a relationship. So this pertains to you and someone else. Um, you know, you may have children together with this person. There's, you know, um, honestly, like I'm hearing for a small group of you, you don't know if this is going to work out long term. Um, it's kind of bothering you. Like when I see the four cups and the three of cups together um, in the reverse, like you just don't see it um, working out um, long term. Um, so even if you're in a commit committed relationship with this person, I'm sensing that someone here wants out. Um, but the way they're doing it is like very slowly, like they're creeping out the back door. Um, maybe that's what this person is hiding because someone is hiding something with the King of Swords. Like then somebody here is not open about something, you know, um, be like, even I can't pick up the energy of this King of Swords. It's insane. Um, but I am getting little bits and pieces, and don't worry, I'll I'll get down to more info if I have to. 
but um, I am picking that up. Um, the Strength card and the Seven of Cups here. If I do sense unfaithfulness in the past, but it's just like a past energy though. Um, you know, it could be one of the reasons why somebody wants to exit out the relationship, but it 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 just sense I just do I do sense that it is a past energy. So I don't know if you know that your person Libra, vice versa. If it's vice versa, if they were unfaithful in the past, like it's it's the past, you know. But it's still the energy is lingering. Somebody's still really thinking about it though, with the strength caught in the seven of cups in the reverse. Um, So I don't know if this is the, the results of this person being quiet, the result of somebody being more, um, more um, spiritually um, ascended, uh, meaning, meaning um, you know, somebody here is in a, you know, and I hate to be so mean um, or harsh, but and I'm not being mean, but harsh. Um, like somebody knows that they this person doesn't really belong with them um like maybe in the beginning it worked out maybe in the beginning you guys had the same frequency and the same vibration the same energy but something happened along this relationship and you're like i don't know not anymore you know unfortunately 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 things like this do happen um, at the bottom of the deck, I do have the star card. Again, very strong Aquarius energy, if that means anything to you. Um, I do feel like this is the next. Somebody here is still thinking about an ex. Um, somebody here could have cheated with an ex. Yeah. That's coming in big time. Um, and then at the bottom of the deck um, over here, I have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, I just sent somebody here is in their power. And the other person is not. Um, and it's 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 so troublesome um, right now for whoever this resonates with. Like not only that, I also sense jealousy. Like someone who is jealous of someone else with the queen of wands even though she's in the upright i just still sense jealousy um maybe because of the queen of wands is here um because you're a queen of wands i should say um libras you could be dealing also with an aries um scorpio sagittarius cancer pisces Cancer Pisces. All right, let's 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 move on. Let's see what else I could pick up as far as your um, energy in these past life oracle cards. Um, you know, I may get a different message from the reading or it could be a continuation. Let's find out what's going on. I could pick up a past life from you or a past life from your person. Uh, or both of you, if especially if you're soulmates. Okay, so I have a communal living. The bottom of the deck, I have Native American. All right. If I keep going, it's calling my name, but it's <laughs> it's calling me. Um, I see scribe and writers. Somebody here could be a very creative um, writer or wants to aspire to be a writer, a singer. Uh, something about creativity here anyways. Um, if I keep going, I see leaving or travel. It just keeps calling me. Um, somebody here could travel for business leave, or just live long distance. All right, I'm over it. Let's go to communal living in Native American. All right. Um, there's something very enclosed about the relationship you're in, interestingly enough. Like, my crowd here doesn't like to be trapped in relationships when I see communal living in Native American. 
it just feels so like I feel like some of you are trapped in a relationship, but not in a not in a horrific way. Um, I do honestly, I, I do pick up some dark energy. I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 for a small group of you, there's a dark energy that's rising from these cards. Okay, I didn't want to address it so much, so but I am picking it up. Um, I know it's not going to pertain to all of you. I just know that somebody here has amazing spiritual gifts and abilities. This person could be very, you know, this person is the person that could be very high vibrational. This person could also be the one that's very low vibrational. So I don't, I don't know. Um, nevertheless, I did pick up some type of um, crazy energy there. Um, but I, I just sense Libras that you don't like to be trapped. And you take that as it resonates. Do you not like to be trapped in long-term relationships? Is that the problem? Do you not like to be trapped in a, um, you know, a person telling you what to do constantly, you know, um, or checking up on you constantly or um, calling you constantly or something like that? I, I don't know. Um, like, you don't like that. Your spirit is, is not into that shit, by the way. Could be you, could be this person. Um, let's see uh, what's blocking you. Uh, let's take one oracle card here. Um, for my from my dark maritaro. Let's see what else I could pick up. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Anger in chains. <laughs> um, I'm just looking at the word chains. Like I just, I kept saying somebody here doesn't like to be trapped um, or chained up. Um, but it, it makes someone angry. This is a, you know what this is? Okay. I don't know. This is trauma um, when I see anger in chains. Um you're, somebody here is stuck in a a um, a past energy, um, and it and honestly, I do feel like it's trauma and grief. <sighs> and because of the trauma, they somebody here doesn't like to be chained up. But okay, that sounded crazy. Um, doesn't like to be trapped in long term relationships, or they just don't like to be. Um, um, you know, with somebody just over their shoulder constantly. It's a trigger when I see this anger in chains. Um, you know, this could be you, Libra. This could be this person. Um, at the bottom of the deck, I see envious gluttony. Um, you know, I had sent something about, I had sent someone here is uh, jealous of the company you keep member of the company you keep or used to keep could be for, for a small group of you group of you an ex that's still lingering um you know even with the queen of wands i sense jealousy um especially if it's a strong fire sign aries leo sagittarius or aquarius is coming in very strong here um doesn't have to be but um there's um there's 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 anger like um somebody here is codependent i said that right i know i said that somewhere yeah the moon card could be a strong um can't um cancer pisces scorpio like codependent like they need to be in a relationship and the other person's like all right that's fine and dandy um but you're triggering me though the way you're doing it is a trigger. Interesting. All right. Libras, if you need a private reading, my email is in the description box. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Love you. Bye.